Otra vez Neil Young. Ok. All is not well for Juan, who's moved with his wife and their two kids to the countryside. After that, what's going on in Carlos Regalas' fourth film is anyone's guess. There's a devil in the bedroom, a sex party in the sauna, and a bunch of boys scrumming for a win on an English rugby field. Make of all of that what you will. Andrew, you interviewed Carlos Regalas for the paper last week. Can you explain what's going on here exactly? That is a very good question. Um, <laughs> I mean, Regalas is, you know, without doubt, one of the extraordinary directors, are, uh, you know, working today. His hit rate is kind of interesting. That he, you know, in my view, he's made two absolute masterpieces, which is Japan's first film and his third film, which is Silent Light, which was a sort of study of. of uh, marital infidelity in, in, of all things, a Mennonite community in Mexico, and a bizarre community in itself. This film um, is, is, I have to say, when, when, when I think we all first watched it, we're utterly baffled by it. Having talked to him at some length about his film, I, I personally feel that I come, kind of got to grips a bit more with what he was trying to do, which is essentially to um, speak about what he considers to be the sort of emotional blockage of the developed world and, and people in the developed world, and so his his, his lead character in this film is 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 is, is a man who um, is basically not in touch with emotions, who is looking for sort of new sensations. Hence the sort of this extended sex resort scene. Hence his inability to do anything other than beat his dog to death when it's sort of barking in an annoying way, um, and it explicitly contrasted with. Um, the sort of locals, um, the local peasants, if you like, from, from, from the sort of Mexican village down the road who, who seem to have a freer life and more connection with their emotions. Peter, when, when Zan saw this and reviewed it at Cannes, I think last year, he's kind of baffled into boredom by it. Did you, did you go along with that? or did you I, I sympathise with that, but I didn't go along with it. I, I think, it's, I think he's, he's very brilliant. He's, he has incredible technique. He's also very, sh I think, sh quite shallow, mm. to be honest with you. It's his sort of besetting sin. I've never watched a Regardless film, even the great ones, uh, and I think Andrew's quite right in saying Japon and Silent Light are the, are the really good ones. Even them, even, even they have flashes of effrontery uh, and absurdity. And I think, are you having me on now? Uh, and I've never quite... Uh, 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 I've never quite lost that feeling. I've now watched this film twice. It's very interesting. The first time I, I watched it, I didn't write about it. I watched it in Cannes with lots of other very overtired people. We all watched it at the end of the day. And we all were sort of dozing off. And then we all woke up for the sex scene. We all thought, oh my God, there's a sex scene. And I wonder if Regardes perhaps a little bit cynically thinks, I've got to put some hardcore in it. It's time for a, yeah. so we've got to freak these people out. You know, what am I doing? You know, well, I've got to keep it real here. And I, I suspect that there's something a little bit tricky about about regardless as a shock tactician having said that there's so much in it that is brilliant there's a lot to like about this film but a lot to be sort of annoyed about as well 